very warm welcome is extended to you, our dear viewers. Welcome to this new and exciting tutorial where we are going to be learning how to withdraw money from Coin Market Cup. To get to Coin Market Cup, you simply type coinmarketcap.com, and I'll be leaving the link to that in the description of this video. And then you'll create an account if you don't have one. And then once you have verified your account, this is where you will be. Now, to begin with, once you have logged in, you notice at the top right corner here, this is where you have your details, you have your name, watch list, portfolio, communities, and settings. Now, to create a new portfolio, you simply come to the right hand side at the top here, click on portfolio, and then you come here, you can add a transaction either here or down here, or you can create a portfolio here. So to create a portfolio, you just click that, and then you select one of these, connect your wallet, add transaction manually, or connect Binance or connect OKX account. So in this case, we just want to add a transaction manually. So you enter the portfolio name here. So we are going to call this Joe me and then you click on change or create portfolio you can also change the avatar here so create portfolio and so you notice now we have our main portfolio and we have the Jomi portfolio here if you click on Jomi portfolio we can now add a transaction so click on add transaction so in this case we now search or select the coin that we want to transact in so you notice we have bitcoin ethereum uh, Tether, USDT, BNB, XRP, USDC, Solana, and others, all this. So let's say we want to transact with Ethereum. We, we, are, we are going to click on Ethereum. And then at the top here, you can decide if it's to buy, to sell, or to transfer. Now, let's say we want to buy. So down here, you select the Ethereum. You notice we can still change at this stage. To Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether, USDT, or any other. So let's stick to Ethereum there. And then the price per coin is given here currently at 1685.71 as at this date. The fees are here, and then you can add the notes here. So let's say the quantity here is 15. So once we put the 15 there, you can see the total here and the conversion at 25 to 85.65. So we want to add that transaction. You click on add transaction and the transaction was added. So now the next thing we want to look at first here is the cryptocurrencies at the top here, the exchanges and the LAN. So to look at the cryptocurrencies with coin market cap, you can see cryptocurrencies in terms of ranking, recently added category, spotlight and all that. You can also view them in terms of NFTs, where you can see overall NFT status and statistics. You can see the NFT top collections and, of course, the upcoming NFT sales. So if, for instance, we want to see cryptocurrencies in terms of ranking, you simply click on ranking. And so you notice now our ranking is here. So at the top here, it's Bitcoin with a price of at $1,120, and you notice it keeps on changing, and then followed by Ethereum, Tether USDT, BNB, and all this. So these are all the details in terms of the market cap, the volume, the circulating supply in the last seven days. So if you want specific details, you simply click on the cryptocurrency that you're interested in. Our interest now, we are going to put it on Ethereum. So you click on Ethereum and now you get the details here. We have Ethereum at 1,690.6 and this is an increase by 3.35%. And then we have the market cap down here and then we have the circulating volume and supply, total supply here and the fully diluted market cap. On the right hand side here, if you want to see the comments, you can see all the comments made here. If we click on analytics for Ethereum, you notice now it opens the Ethereum analytics here. 
uh, by holdings. You notice all these figures, including down here for the whale holdings, address by time held, and average transaction fees. Now, if now we want to withdraw our money from coin market cap, I propose you use another site called Pancake Swap. Pancakeswap.finance, and I'll be leaving the link to that in the description of this video. That is pancakeswap.finance. Now, once you get to pancakeswap.finance, you notice here you can connect your wallet. You can see the BNB, Smart Chain, Ethereum, Polygon, all these are available. You can view them here. You can also view the liquidity. You can view the perpetual and bridge and V2. And now, if you want to withdraw the money from Coin Marketplace, so you go back to Coin Marketplace. You notice we had our Ethereum. We had already opened this one for our Ethereum in the Jomi account. So you come down here under Contracts, down here on the left hand side, you'll notice under Contracts, we have a link. You are going to click on Copy to Clipboard here, where we have these two small dots. So you click on copy to clipboard and that link has been copied there. So you'll come back to pancake swap and then you come to trade. Under trade, you notice we have swap, liquidity, perpetual and all these. You are going to click on swap and then you'll come to this side now. This is where you can trade tokens in an instant. For instance, you want to swap from BNB and whatever other. So you come here, we want Ethereum here. And then we now paste the link here. Remember, you already have our link copied. And then you click on Connect Wallet. And now you start by connecting with one of the wallets below. And you store your private keys to seed phrases securely. So this is for your own safety. You make sure you don't share them with anyone. So down here, you can connect that with MetaMask, Binance Wallet, Coinbase wallet, Trust wallet, whatever it is. And if you cannot see the one that you are looking for, you simply click on more here. And if you do that, you now notice we have more here that have been added. So you now select the one that you want to withdraw from. So maybe you want to connect that to Coinbase wallet. You click on that and then you scan to connect with one of the mobile apps here. So you now scan this code with your mobile app. Or you can do the second way where you use the Coinbase app and connect with your Coinbase account here. So to do that, you simply open the Coinbase app and then you tap on more and then you scan this QR code. In case you don't see the scan option, you simply update your Coinbase app to the latest version and then you try again. So currently you notice this is not installed. Coinbase wallet is not installed as an extension. So to withdraw, I'll click on install and then you connect with dApps with a one, just one click and then add additional layer of protection and then that Coinbase wallet will be added. If we click on MetaMask, for instance, the process is the same. I click on MetaMask, you notice it is not yet installed. So I'll click on install and MetaMask will be added and then I'll be able also to withdraw from that. Once you connect with that, you'll now be able to withdraw money from your Coin Marketplace app by just connecting with, with Pancake Swap. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.